All right, guys, seriously, this is like the coolest display. Look at these little guys. We're in Tokyo right now. We have the aquarium. Thanks to you guys' recommendation, we gotta check this out. Emily's covering her face because she really doesn't want to go through. Ha! Oh, wait, we gotta wash our hands first? All right, let's go check it out. Look at these. Oh my lord, we'll start from these. These are beautiful, are you kidding? Man. But this, when you come up the stairs, this is a huge tank that you see. This is amazing. But the showstopper, if that's not enough, look at this one. Oh my goodness. It's huge. The tank looks small, right? But when people actually walk up to it, it actually looks huge. Let's check out some of the details. Oh man, this is this is insane. I really wonder how they do the background, like where it's really dark in the bottom and just brighten up. Do they just keep lights on there? Look at all these. Uh, looks like cardinals. Looks like cardinals right there. Yeah, look at all these, and look at how well all these plant carpeted. And the shimmers. I wonder what kind of light they use. This is a different level. And let's swing over here, where we see Emily scratching her leg. <laughs> and this is this is visually impressive as well. Oh, there's a light. Looks like is it metal halides? Metal halides and T fives. This one doesn't have a carpeted plants at bottom, the same bottom. That's all I know. Anubius. Anubius, I think that's, that's what it's called. And interesting that like for a large tank like this, obviously, well, they could use like glass lid pipe, but that looks like a PVC or plastic, clear plastic, to keep that clean looks. And this tank actually does not have background. It's clear background versus that. It has like a more interesting, almost like a sunlit effect. It's really different takes on things. And over here, they, they use the surface, uh, the plants all break the water surface to kind of extend the aquascape um, to the top as well. So it just does not end at the top, it actually comes comes out of the top. So it kind of continues on, makes the tank looks a lot taller than it actually is. But again, all the details. These are really big neon tetris. These are huge. Interesting how the fish just kind of like um, cluster towards it in the middle of the valley. This is nice, man. Are you kidding? Oh, I really like how well grown this part. This portion is really packed in, but still organized. And again, we got the same type of light. I wonder what kind of light it's running. Yeah, it's really, really cool first floor. Really breathtaking. All right, we're gonna check out the rest of the aquarium and see what this aquarium got to offer. Somebody called the tank police on the aquarium. This is the tiniest tank for a blue tank. Oh, the guy's trying to hide. Okay. That may not be good. I think he's trying to hide. Guys, I found mochi. Look at these two frogfish. Kind of surprising though, because like one of them is obviously a lot larger than the other one. Um, I thought the large one would probably just inhale the smaller one. But uh, they're living here. They seem to be doing okay. Uh, this is a reef flat. And here they have the coral cluster, as they name this section. Let's take a closer look at what they have. What their choices? Soft corals, mostly. Uh, green singlera, that's what we have. Lots of gorgonian. Lots and lots of cocoonians. Oh, she recognizes the damn souls. Yeah. See the sea, cuc sea cucumber down here as well? Oh. We eat them. All right, guys, so I actually thought this is really interesting. Look at that. Look at all these garden yields. They require a pretty deep sand bed to create holes. These are the um, standard ones, this up here. The one with the orange stripe that's a little bit hard to keep. Also more rare, because, probably because of it. Coming for the food. Coming for the food. That's a one piece of brine shrimp that they're trying to reach. Look, they're all trying to reach for that brine shrimp. 
but they're afraid to come out of the hole. That's funny. Let's see if that guy would take it. Oh, got it. Yeah, these two have uh, probably have separation anxiety. They're just stuck together. All right, guys, seriously, this is like the coolest display. Look at these little guys. Oh man, garden eels. I'm really tempted to set up a garden eel tank now, my goodness. But it'll be a species only tank. I see that they mix in some um, shrimp fish in there as well, which is really cool. Really interesting. Man, look at these guys. And this is a huge tank. This is a huge tank. Check out this. I think this is a Napoleon Rats. It's huge. Okay, this is kind of interesting right here. Um, I guess this is when they collected it, I'm guessing, because I can't read Japanese. And then they actually feed these. And by these, I mean these guys right here. They got a couple set up, three different set up. It looks like they used those like uh, jellyfish tank built. Um, these are the green polyp leather. I, uh, well, this is actually from Japan. I have one in my tank as well. Um, I guess they feed them. And they, you can kind of check out their response as you feed. Pretty interesting setup. Emily, what is this? You gotta introduce it. What is this? What is this? It's an axolot. Yeah, what is an axolot? Baby. Is it a baby axolot? Super cute. So basically, they're saying that um, normally in the wild it's black, you know, like that one. Cool little dude. So, this is the evolution of goldfish. I'm trying to learn about my enemy. Oh, yeah, she hates goldfish. I think, like, apparently she stepped on one when she was a little kid and she was forever traumatized. Check this out. They have a. Uh, showing different types of goldfish. Seahorse, right? Seahorse, cool. Or right. we can get another one later. For I think the crab is pretty cool too. Oh, that's a little angel. Alright, go for it. Alright, so Emily insists on opening one of them, so I gotta get another one because I want to keep two for my. Uh, I think you guys want one more too. Right? No, no, no. Alright, which one are you gonna open? Fidey, that is that a shark? Oh, the shark! Okay, it's a shark. Okay, that's kind of uh, cool too. It's not a shark. No, it's just a shark. Is it? Yeah, it's like pretty it? cool. Oh, well, it's not bad. If not, we can do a giveaway. Now we get hit by the gift shop. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Oh man, they got garden yo too. This is cool. Oh, <laughs> it's actually one of these guys right here. It's like the AirPods. This actually looks really nice. Look at this paper crap. I may get one or two or three of these guys. Really beautiful. Have you finished the one that I Oh, no. Yeah, Emily's so happy that we're done so quickly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> She's so happy. It's so ridiculous right now. What are we? What is this? It's, not. <laughs> what is it's this? country day today. Oh my god. 